everyone welcome to Deepika makeup hope you're all doing super awesome so today's video is going to be a haul video and I have a lot of stuff from drugstore especially from wet and wild I jumped on the new display and I grabbed everything that I felt were interesting and that would work for me and I did ask on my snapchat if you wanted to see a haul and a lot of you said yes so here it goes I'm not going to review or show any up close watches in this video I mean I'm going to swatch on my hand and show you like this but you know what I'm not going to go for those up close watches because uh, I didn't try any of these products so I'm not sure how they work so I can't give you much information for the few I tried I let you know what I think about them so first we'll go through all the random stuff I got and we'll move on to the drugstore stuff at the end of this video have some color pop and some Sephora first. So Colourpop, I have three eyeshadows from Colourpop. I literally place order on Colourpop every single month. Like right when you think that you are done with their collection, you don't want to place any more order, they come up with something new and they are so inexpensive like they are $5 or $10. So you keep adding and then they have free shipping uh, over $30. So you make it $30 and order something. So it's an addiction. So I have three eyeshadows. The first one I have here is something that everybody talks about and a lot of people who uh, featured Colourpop eyeshadows in best of the 2015 were talking about this eyeshadow. So I gotta grab it and this is called So Quiche. And uh, this is described like one of a kind eyeshadow on their website like oh my god you have to read that description. Honestly I mean it's not that unique or anything but yeah at least on my brown skin it looks okay just like a neutral color so maybe i'm expecting too much after reading that description the next one i have here is shameless and this is a black eyeshadow packed with ton of green and teal glitter in it it's beautiful and the next one i have here is liberty it's a metallic silver eyeshadow again very very beautiful like color pop eyeshadows are so pigmented and uh, if you apply with your fingers they work beautifully all right the next thing moving on sephora why do i have this clinique moisturizer i don't even remember ordering this and i see that in my new products bin so yeah I think my husband was placing an order on Macy's and to get free shipping he gotta add like three or four dollars so he uh, got this Clinique moisturizer it's just like a deluxe size uh, sample um, I used Clinique moisturizer previously but yeah many 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 years ago i like them so that's the one i don't even know how this works so. right uh, moving on i was a little distracted when i saw something that i didn't even know that i got so anyways the next couple of things i have here are from sephora and both these things i got because i was enabled by somebody and her name is tanuja uh, her channel name is glam confident i will leave the link to her channel in the description box below please do check her out she just started off her channel she's just at like 150 subscribers and her videos are really good her recommendations are always working for me and that's the reason i'm mentioning her uh, channel so check her out let her know that i've sent you uh, if you happen to go and subscribe to her she actually sent me a snap on snapchat uh, that she got this palette and uh, she sent the swatches and i fell in love and when I checked on Sephora's website, it vanished. So I was really feeling bad and I was still iffy whether to get it or not. And then after a couple of days, I checked on Sephora's sales section again and this was there. I mean, this uh, palette is originally $44, I believe, and it's on sale right now for $34. Great deal. You know how I feel about Makeup Forever artist eye shadows. I've talked about them on my uh, in my 2015 favorites video I love these eyeshadows every single color you touch uh, is just amazing so all these nine eyeshadows even though they are smaller than the regular size uh, it's still a very good value I was iffy whether to get it or not because of this bold colors right here um, I won't use them that frequently but anyways these eyeshadows are really really beautiful um, and I also heard that the quality of these eyeshadows is not the very same as their original ones so uh, that's another reason I was holding off but once I saw the swatches uh, in her snap I'm like no I'm very sorry I doubted these eyeshadows 
really sorry but yeah these eyeshadows are really good i just checked and it's still there in the sales section so if you are planning to grab this palette go go get it it's amazing all right the next one i have here from sephora is um urban decay gwen stefani lipstick and this also is a recommendation from uh, tanuja from glam confident that's the packaging inside there are cute pink and white polka dots and that's the bullet um it looks gorgeous right it looks gorgeous it looks so 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 glam but i had high hopes for this i guess because um the packaging is plastic and it's more like that snap kind of packaging that you get at drugstore so uh, i was really disappointed i heard so many things about this collection and i think i was expecting too much uh, it looks glamorous but it doesn't feel glamorous it actually feels cheap but the product itself is actually really good it's totally my color just it's calling my name it's bright burgundy pink color with some blue sheen to it it's really beautiful i can't wait to wear this color but i don't think the color is unique the formula is definitely beautiful um but the color i think i've seen a lot of these colors at the drugstore so i'll dive into my collection and see if i can find any dupes for you guys if i find anything i'll post on instagram also do follow me on instagram because a lot of the times when i'm playing around with makeup or if i take any pictures of swatches i post on my instagram so go there deepika makeup again thank you tanuja if you didn't tell me uh, that this color is gorgeous i would never have gotten this because i know right now you're going to judge me but i don't know who ben stefani is i feel so dumb and i don't know what else but honestly i'm telling you i don't know her so that's the reason i was totally overlooking um, this collection but the lipstick is actually really really beautiful all right the next things i have here are a bunch of things from julep and uh, i'm actually placing a lot of orders on julep right now uh, only because i am planning to unsubscribe from their subscription box i'm still with them but i'm actually skipping their boxes so i'm ordering everything that i need uh, before i am subscribed only because uh, if i'm a maven the prices are actually a little less uh, so that's the reason so i got two backups of my favorite uh, nail polish remover um, i talked about this uh, nail polish remover in best of 2014 i believe ever since this is my favorite so i have four bottles and i got two more and the next ones i have here are two lipsticks and you know how i feel about these lipsticks i love them i already have i believe three or four so now i got two more the first one i have here is called stepping out it's like a orangey coral color beautiful i think i got both corals these are not pigmented and stuff but these feel very moisturizing and very comfortable on the lips and the next one i have here is called girl code and this is more like a pinky coral color so let me swatch you will not need both these but you know i love coral so i'll get all the variations of coral so that's stepping out and this is called girl code so that's that and i also got this um new launch from them and this is their i don't know what are these called these are called matte lip mousse and this is in the color xoxo again like a mauvey peach deeper mauvey peach color wow this is beautiful this is beautiful so that's xoxo the formula is gorgeous gorgeous formula so i don't know how these wear on the lips and stuff like that but uh, i wanted to try since it's their new launch i needed a top coat for my manicure and i was specifically looking for one which one beauty addict recommends but i didn't find that big round bottle uh, at walmart so i just picked up um, this one which is nail aid gel extreme shine that's the packaging and that's the top coat it says um, the manicure lasts for 14 days what a crap it's actually not working properly i don't know for some reason my nail polish chips in just two days so i don't know what's happening with this i will give it a try for some more days and i'm going to throw this away if it doesn't work because i just can't paint my nails every two or three days 
all right now moving on to target i went to target to get the wet and wild ombre blushes and i picked up these uh, exfoliating cleansing wipes to remove my makeup i think they discontinued the ones i really love oh my god why do you discontinue something that i love i went to big lots to pick up the apl ones those are discontinued or i don't know i didn't find in couple of uh, different big lots so i'm assuming the apl ones are gone and in the target they discontinue the up and up ones i love uh, it comes in like a white and blue packaging with a small flower so anyways i didn't find those as well so i just picked up these um apricot ones yeah these are expo exfoliating wipes oh yeah i've tried these before these are actually not that bad you see they have like these little exfoliating dots uh, orange dots i mean these are not bad but this is not my favorite uh, and also this doesn't hold that much product in them so and finally i found uh, all three ombre blushes from wet and wild these are exclusive to target i did go through a lot of struggle to uh, get these um, i actually did a detailed review on these blushes I filmed that today itself so I don't know which one is going to uh, go live first. If you want to know how these blushes work and all that good stuff, check out that video. I think I'm going to put up the review first. And finally, we have everything Wet n Wild from Walgreens. I've, except I have one non-Wet n Wild product and this is uh, L'Oreal. These are L'Oreal's new eyeshadows. I have been hearing rave reviews about these eyeshadows and it did hear one or two people here and there um, saying these are just like meh but for me i personally <laughs> didn't like them uh, this is the eyeshadow i have on my eyelid today this is called pain o chocolate pain o chocolate these are their new color rich color rich eyeshadows these are 4.99 each uh 4.99 or 5.99 each uh right now walgreens they have a book and they have a dollar off coupon for this so if you are planning to get just get that also if you want to pick up more shades just look for buy one get one half off or something like that uh, i used it today and uh, with brush it didn't pick up well there's a lot of fallout uh, so i used my fingers to press this eyeshadow on my eyelid that worked better than using a brush but i don't feel these are any unique or they have that wow factor to them so yeah i'm glad i just stopped at once so that's that all right moving on we have a lot of wet and wild here so i'm actually so excited to try all these so the first one i have here is their wet and wild color icon blushes they reformulated these blushes previously they used to have like a pattern or something i have three of their uh, previous blushes love them the pigmentation is beyond amazing for 2.99 so these are 2.99 as well and this color i believe is a new color i've not seen this color before and this is called rose champagne so that's the color it's like a bronzy color with some gold shimmer in it i've not tried it on my cheeks i'm thinking it's going to be more like a shimmery bronzer or like a highlighter on my cheekbones so i'm gonna test it out and let you guys know in another video yeah it's not really showing up on me so i, I gotta check the next one i have here is eyeliner and this is their uh, new formula and uh, lick it's a liquid eyeliner i've tried their h2o eyeliner before a few years ago i hated it i mean it's i think their waterproof version it actually bunches up, it tightens up on the eyelid, it flakes off. I didn't really like it. So ever since I never picked up any eyeliner from Wet n Wild. But then I follow uh, Sherifa Yasmin on her Snapchat and she mentioned that this eyeliner is actually really beautiful. So I went to her and got the new formula. I'm going to test it out and let you guys know. The next ones I have here are their uh, contouring and highlight palettes. They have two. And these are called their uh, Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. Con what? Contouring Palette Contour. That's what they're saying. So they have two shades. And uh, I heard that these are just not reformulated. But they even changed the shades. The names are the same. But they have changed the shades. So I don't have the previous ones to compare the formula or the colors. But One Beauty Addict, she has done a very detailed review comparing the old ones and the new ones formula and the color wise so i will leave her um 
video in the description box below so if you want to see uh, the difference you can check that out if you have the old ones and if you're iffy about checking out the new ones you can watch that video and decide so i have both of them i used this one which is dolce de leach uh, today that's how i think it's spelled but that's how i do um and i still don't know how i feel about it i use this to contour um and i think i like it but i still have to use it so i will let you guys know in another video how i feel about this i also couldn't decide which one actually suits me because this one looks like a good contour but uh this one is like a banana powder that i like to uh, set my under eyes so i just ended up getting both or right, the next one is a highlighter palette and uh, this is the illuminating palette this doesn't have a name all right this doesn't have a name but i think they reformulated it repackaged it previously uh, the shades used to be the same but they came in a small tin can i always wanted to get those but i never got around to them so i picked up the new one i used this uh, this color on the bridge of my nose today uh, first impression i don't think i really like it because um it's it, it's more like a shimmery than sheen so it's actually sitting on top of the skin rather than you know melting into the skin and giving that really nice highlighted effect but i think for 599 you really can compare this with like a higher end uh, highlighter and trash it off so i have to use it more uh, to let you guys know i will do a detailed review of all these products if you want to know uh, anything in particular do let me know in the comments below i have to try these out to let you guys know what i think so do let me know in the comments below if you want to see detailed review of these products uh, and then i also got these uh, two wet and wild velvet matte lip colors and initially when i saw the packaging i uh, instantly thought of the nars uh, lip pencils that sephora gave as birthday gift last year um and uh, this is the color i'm uh, wearing today this is called shard cherry i think it almost uh wore off they're a little sheer and they feel comfortable on the lips but uh, again i don't know how long it stays on the lips and all that good stuff so that's the first one and i also got hickory smoked which is more like a deeper uh, nude color they have three more colors uh, but all those are very pale for my skin tone one is like a lilac lilac -y, uh, purple color other one is like a barbie pink color and one is like a very pale nude so i thought they would not suit me so i didn't get the entire collection so ended up with these two this is one is cherry charred cherry and this one is hickory smoked and then i also got uh, this uh, wet and wild mega slicks balm stain and this is in the shade uh, c if i carry it i don't have this particular shade and somehow this was on sale for dollar 49 so i just grabbed it uh, i really love it i have 8 or 10 of these and uh, um i think this one is going to be a good addition if you want to see a review of those balm stains i can do that but i cannot swatch them because they actually stain so i cannot remove the stain and apply another one and wait until it gets deeper so if you just want to see the review and swatches on the hand i can do that for you so and the next one i have here is wet and wild uh, eyeshadow palette and this is called coming in latte they have another one which has a uh, more of the purple shades the smoky purple shades and everything i just went with the neutral one i think these are not new because i remember seeing these uh, in the fergie collection before i didn't pick them up but this was on their new display um so i am assuming they reformulated it or i don't know nowhere it's written that it is uh, from the fergie collection so i don't know if they just repackaged it or anything but i didn't have this palette so i went ahead and got that it's been a very long time that i got a wet and wild eyeshadow because after they changed the formula i didn't hear much good things about their little palette so um i still have their old formula eyeshadows that i absolutely love and um, yeah i wanted to try their new uh, eyeshadows as well so i got that palette all right the next one i have here is their concealing uh, highlighting and concealing pen and this is in a happy medium they also have another lighter color um and i'm not sure if it's going to suit me or not um i'm going to use it as my under eye concealer and also to highlight my face so uh, i still didn't open it as you can see so i'm i'm not sure how it works so i let you guys know what i think about it all right the next thing i have here is their one step 
wonder gel uh, nail polish and i have it in the shade lavender out loud and um, let me open it and i heard many good things about it and a lot of people say the manicure lasts longer it's very very shiny i really like the color it it's more like bite the bullet from their regular mega last um, line so yeah i'm going to use it and let you guys know what i think about it i still haven't put it on my nails maybe i'm going to do it tomorrow because my nails are already shipped while i was opening a lot of these packages so i have to redo my uh, manicure and i have two more things from wet and wild these were also on their new display but these were sent to me by octoly if you are a youtuber do apply for octoly uh, they have some criteria so apply and see if you get approved i will leave the link to the uh, octoly website in the description box below check it out they're pretty cool so the first one i have here is wet and wild cover all primer base the tint and it's a face primer obviously so uh, let me see it refines pores fills fine lines brightens the complexion evens the skin tone and all that good stuff the packaging looks like smashbox primer which i absolutely love so let's see if this matches up and the next one i have here is wet and wild lash out loud and it gives 10x volume is what they say again it's still in the packaging i haven't really used it so i will uh, keep you guys posted on what i think about it but the packaging really good uh, wet and wild's display were all over walgreens uh, they have a different display for these uh, concealers and nail polishes they have a different display for these uh, mascaras new display for all the other products and they also have a brow kit uh, which i wanted to try i think i'm going to go and grab uh, before i film that uh, review video for you it has a bunch of uh, five colors i believe they also have a pink color so i don't know what we are going to do with pink color for the brows so i'm interested to try that and they have a lot of new things so i'm going to hunt uh, the drugstore for a few more days gather everything use everything and let you guys know what i think about them so that completes my haul video and do let me know in the comments below if you want to see detailed reviews of any of these products in specific i will share a lot of swatches of these products on my instagram for sure or if you are on my snapchat you will constantly see me updating about a lot of products that i use on a day to day basis so yeah do follow me there if you are interested please hit on the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video it makes me happy and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel that red subscribe button right there do click on that and subscribe to my channel to be updated about my future uploads you can see all my future uploads on your youtube home screen so you don't miss out on my videos and i will see you all very very soon goodbye